What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with brand new action figure surgery. We have a brand new episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery, as you guys can see. We have the lineup in front of you. Now, you're probably wondering why there's no Elite 94 and stuff like that, and it's because I was waiting on parts. I have to wait on parts before we get into all those figures, but I had a lot of ideas. I had a lot of ideas running through my brain. I am going to have to run some by you guys because I, I have a couple options here and there, but I have some pretty sweet fix-ups that I'm excited about, and we we have uh, a lot of hurricanes at work, as you guys can see. We have all those hurricane figures that we were excited to use the other day. Remember when we got them on the, the toy hunt? I picked up a lot of them for really, really cheap, and it worked out perfectly. I think we're going to get into that today, and it should be awesome. So we're going to dive into some double-jointed arm fix-ups, some nice creativity, some things like that, and I'll get into all those things as we progress. So with that all being said, man, let's dive into what we're going to cover here today, and I'll get into all that as we get through the surgery, and then we will proceed with said surgery. So starting out with the guy on the stretcher as we always do we do have this brand new elite series 87 brawn now i did order this off amazon i think for like 19 bucks or whatever and the reason i got this is because i'm trying to make fix-ups why is this not focusing what is what is this? There it is. So I want to fix this guy up and uh, to create a new base, I wanted a Braun Strowman with double jointed arms, you know, because the one that I use in fetting and the one that I pose around the most is going to be the one that has the mask, you know, the one that's used on Vindication. So I do want to switch this one's legs. I don't like the short boots look. So I'm just going to take my older Braun Strowman right here that we made bald way before, you know, Mattel's got here. It's still got the ponytail mark on the back. I'm going to take these legs right here since he is on ball joints and I'm just going to plug them into the Elite 8. 87 to give him the long boots look. I don't want the Roman Reigns boots. I guess I could technically just like switch the lower legs, but I I, I just don't like that. I, I yeah, I'm not feeling that. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm just gonna switch the whole leg. I, I kind of like the rips and the patches and stuff of these. We're just gonna switch the legs, and I think that will be pretty sweet, and that will give us a good base. But we're not gonna be done there yet because I don't want these khaki or these army tan boots. They're supposed to be Tim's, I think, but you know they just gave us tan boots, which kind of look badass to be honest with you, but. But it doesn't fit the character that I'm going for. So I have a choice to make. I'm either going to, because you got to think, I'm not going to be leaving this head sculpt on here. It is going to be the masked head sculpt from Braun Strowman, but I can't get that head sculpt off at this moment. I'm afraid to try it on surgery, so we're going to leave the bald head sculpt for now. But for his boots, I'm trying to figure out if I want to use Fiend boots because it fits like that evilness, right? It's got the black, it's got the red. It gives him a different look there. You know, it fits in with Kane and the Monsters of Destruction. Or am I going to use these Bobby Lashley boots with all these straps? straps that I really like and I may paint them you know paint the straps red or something like that I think that could be really badass or even silver or something tie into cane more so that's my choice you guys can leave me your thoughts down below I think for today I'm gonna put the Bobby Lashley ones on there we could refer back to it at a later date but I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put these boots on there and then uh, we will see and go from there but that's what I want to do with Bobby and the bronze kind of sounds like a damn band or something Bobby and the bronze next up guys you will notice that we have a shish ton of Finn Balor's and elite hurricanes now the reason we're going to do all that is because we, we have a lot of fix-ups to do here, man. We got a lot of arms to cut. We got a lot of stuff to get taken care of right here, and it should be very sweet. These are going to look awesome when they're finally done, and so the first one that we have here is going to be the Elite 82 Finn Balor. You guys know that when we got this figure in hand, it was single-jointed arms. The sleeve didn't cover the whole deal here. Well, we're going to fix that. We're going to put Hurricane Arms on there, double-jointed black sleeves. Should look really sweet on this Finn Balor. We're going to have the hand tat. It's going to cover up all his other tattoos. It's going to be a sweet fix up. That's relatively that's relatively simple. We're going to be taking this Finjamin. We're going to take this fin right here, which is a beautiful fix up. Jesus hell and high water. Look at that right there. We're going to take my Elite 90, Elite 91. I think it's Elite 91. Sami Zayn figure that has double jointed white wrist tape arms. We're going to plug those onto this Finn Balor and then we are going to put these hands obviously in this. I am going to order another Sami, you know, because this one's already been broken down. Remember we did the head swap onto his Elite 63 three figure. So this is just kind of a placeholder, you know, it's an extra Sami Zayn, so I am gonna just, you know, uh, I'm gonna break him down even more, you know, there's no point in having him here. I can break him down some more and then just order a new Sami, so that's probably what I'll do there, but we are gonna switch those double jointed arms onto this fin. Next up, we're gonna be taking, now this one I'm really, really excited about because it's gonna give him like NXT vibes, but this fin right here, this is a fix-up fin, Elite 74 fin with the uh, SummerSlam Elite Seth Rollins lower legs and kick pads. Very excited to try this fix-up because I think it's gonna 
to look sweet. First of all, we do need to put solid black knee pads on here, so that's part of the fix-up, because it's, it's going to look similar to, like, his NXT 2015 look, where he had red trunks, black knee pads, red kick pads, and double black sleeves. So we're going to take one of the Hurricanes, bless him, and we're going to switch the double-jointed black-sleeved arms on here. Then we're going to put the black knee pads on there. I think that is going to look so fire. I can't wait to try that one. That will be really awesome as well. Can't forget about the knee pads. Do want those over there. And then you're probably wondering, you know, we do have two more Hurricanes here. So this one right here is going to come in handy with the Adam Cole. This is actually going to be part of this head sculpt down here and this uh, this hand tat. So what I plan on doing here is I actually have a, like three or four of this Adam Cole. So what I'm actually going to do is use his left arm here. And I guess I could put the sleeved arm from Hurricane maybe over there. I don't, I don't know. Like that, that Adam Cole doesn't wear a sleeve, but maybe it'll make for a pretty cool fix up. I'm not doing that switch. That's not what we're doing. It's just going to add to the other fix up. So we have this other Elite 82 fin with this giraffe neck, ugly, basic Finn Balor head. We're going to be putting the Elite 74 smiley faced fin on there. Then we're going to proceed to put the right Hurricane arm onto this to give it the sleeve look. And then the black wrist tape arm from Adam Cole on the left side over here. So merging these three figures, putting this head sculpt on it, putting the hand tat on there, kind of give us a different look, you know, because when he rocked these shorts, he did have the hand tat. So I don't know why this hand's in here, but I think it'll make for a pretty cool fix up. So we are going to be combining all three of these guys and, uh, you know, we're, we're going to be doing that. I think that'll work out great. And last but not least, we do have our last fix up, which is going to be the Hurricane figure again, but on the top talents fix up fin right here. We're going to put both double black sleeves onto this fix up top talents fin with the Elite 82 head sculpt on it that we made a while back. I think the dual black sleeves really will tie in nice with this and make it badass. So with all those things being said, man, we have discussed everything we're going to do today. So let's proceed with said surgery and see what the hell happens. So maybe we should just start off with Braun Strowman. And remember, cast your vote on what Bobby Lashley boots you guys want to see. I th or which boots you guys want to see, not which Bobby Lashley boots you want to see. But uh, we are going to spread the man's legs right here. Him, you know, Braun Braun's always on ball joints, so it shouldn't be that difficult to get this to work. So we are going to heat up both of their inner thighs right here. Hopefully it works out great and I don't have any issues, but we're going to heat up that and the boots. Uh, God. We also have to heat up these boots. Maybe it might be able to get it all, you know, if you heat it up the right way. We'll have to see about that, but what? Are we just going to heat up every single one of those arms when it comes time? I guess we're going to attempt that. We'll do this fix up first and then we'll come back and do the other side. How about that? So here we go. We got white trusty hair dryer in the house. I'm just going to heat this up in the middle right here, and hopefully it takes care of all the issues. Kind of worried about the beam of heat. I don't know if it's going to line up with the boots, and that kind of bothers me a little bit, but we'll have to just see what happens. Kind of upset, but let's just run it. All right, Brad, let's see what takes place here. Hopefully, everything will go according to plan. Now, I will be real with you, Brad. My fingers are probably not in good shape for surgery since it has been a decent amount of time. You know, it hadn't been like forever, but it's been a decent amount of time there. We got the boots off there. We do want to slide these off. God, I don't trust that, but we got it. Okay, cool. All right, I don't think this is just going to pop off. Oh, it might. Oh, yes, sir. I think we should go ahead and plug this in right here. You know, go ahead and plug the... Okay, dude, that looks, that shit looks nice, boy. Oh, yes, this is, this is what I'm talking about. This is what surgery's all about right here, baby. This is what the surgery's all about, getting the freaking fix-ups and making them look fire. Just like that. I love these khaki boots. Wish I could find a reason for them, you know? But holy hell, these right here turned out fantastic. Hopefully, this will, God, that's a big ball joint. Jesus. Oh my lord. Good god in heaven. It looks double the size of the other. Ah! Jesus! Will that even fit that? May have to heat that up again. Good lord. It's outrageous. I am going to stick these legs over here because I feel like that's necessary, you know, because you don't want it. Now this just looks like a this looks like a custom Elite 87 Braun before we got him. So I just put him over to the side and, you know, he can just be big and bad over here all by himself. And, you know, he could be a he could just be a catalyst for other things. I don't even know. Kind of would this look stupid? Yes, but holy hell, these legs look great. Dude, are you are you seeing this? That's fantastic. Look at Dr. Whitecus. All right, 
I need to plug this in, but good God, they're going to have to be heated up. So it's already cooled off now. Uh, yeah, we'll just leave this. We'll go on to the next step, and Braun, I will get you back together, buddy. I, I promise. For the next bit... I guess we can heat this up like this, and then we do need to what? We need to heat up these lower legs of this fin right here. So I guess we could heat this up, you know, together, and then put the knee pads on there and replace it, and that way that would give me a reason to heat these up as well. But I really don't, I hate, like, wasting hair dryer time, if that makes sense, but sometimes you just gotta waste hair dryer time, I guess. You know, I gotta pay extra, I gotta, I gotta pay the trusty white hair dryer overtime today. All right, Brad, let's see what comes of this. Now, getting these lower legs off is going to be a whore. really don't want to do it, but, you know, it's got to be freaking done. God, dude, I, I told you, these legs right here, they look super awesome, but I don't know if they're going to go up in there. I told you, that ball joint's massive. Okay, it went in. And then the other side... Uh, hopefully that gets tighter because I, I hope that's not so loosey-goosey like that because that looks Uggs McJugs. We'll take a closer look at Braun at the end. I guess I could always super glue his leg or, or something like that. But getting this off, leaving that in, pulling these off, and then going over here, doing the same to the Seth Rollins lower leg, pulling that knee pad off, pushing that over there, and then we do where the hell those black knee pads go, Brad. All right, I got to look at which one's which. This is the left, so this will go here. Here, and you gotta slide that thing up so it doesn't get in the way of the peg. The reason I don't want to leave these in here is because I'm going for that specific NXT look, you know? I want that specific NXT look. I don't want anything, like, dumb. I, did, I was about to say, there's no way that went in. I'm gonna have to reheat this. I hate everything. Well, that one went in. Why didn't you? Christ. All right, we got it. Now we just got to do his arms. Now, for all these Degum arms, I'm honestly kind of afraid for some of them. I'm, I'm excited for all of them, but at the same time, I'm kind of uh, scared. Now, the Legends Hurricane head should just pop off. I'm going to have a ton of this hur the Hurricane capes. I need to make a whole super squadron. That's going to go up like that. And you guys know that we are going to have to uh, cut the pegs of all these damn arms. So, uh, that's... That's just the way, that's the way of the world, and we're just gonna have to do that. So I do have to put like all of them in the beam of light. They all have to come off, they all have to get pre-cut, you know, we gotta do all of them. So that's what we're gonna do. So I gotta line them all up here, get them all in the beam, make sure that they're all in line. I mean, there's there's lots of steps here to ensure it, like any of these cloth accessories and head sculpts and stuff like that, that uh, are, are mainly just the cloth accessories, you know, we don't really care about the head sculpts. They can get heated up, unless they're removable, I'm gonna remove them, but same Zane right here with the double jointed white arms. I don't know if I'll be able to do all these at once, you know. I can at least take them off. I just don't know if they'll pop right on after I cut you know, the stuff. But damn, there's a lot of hurricanes coming through. This already makes me nervous. There's way too many bodies right here, man. All right, I'm gonna cap it right here. We have more, but I just don't trust it, you know. We just have a mountain of figures right here, man. Jesus. All right, man, hopefully that will do the the case there. Hopefully this will take care of everything. We'll have to find out here. There's the one Balor arm. Obviously, some are gonna have more heat applied than others because they were in the beam, they were in line of fire, and then some of them probably won't have any John Brown heat whatsoever. So that'll just be something that we have to see there. Taking that arm off, we got both sleeves. Again, these arms are not going to just go on here. You're going to have to cut them. So, yeah, you see the gap right there? That's the way it is. So we are going to have to cut them similar to how the other ones are cutted. So we are cutted. How the other ones are cut. Hopefully, all these arms come off. There's the white arm. See, like, once I get them off, I'm not really worried about it because then you can take your time and, you know, we could, we could just pick which arms we want plug them on there. You know, we don't have to, like, the arms should stay relatively soft for a decent amount of time. There's our options. Two pairs of sleeves, one pair of white, and then we do have the other arm coming off here. So we got that ready and ready to go. There's our two bodies, and then we do have the bigger arm fin. Oh, that was, those bigger arms are not uh not as easy okay well the other one wasn't and then here's the other arm and then we have the good god 
it was almost off and now it's all flaily waily god in heaven all right so here's our four fin bodies and then we have our arms over here now the good thing is the good thing is we can heat these arms up with our other bodies because we still have more bodies to get as you guys can see this is not all of the arms that we're going to have here so we do have to uh, get these here and then i'll show off what we got so here we have our second stack of bodies we're going to have a hurricane figure a fin like so we have our adam cole just the one arm so i'm just going to put the one arm, one arm up the other one doesn't really matter then we have the other sleeved arms then we have all of our other sleeved arms i'm just going to leave that all in the beam of heat and then we have the fin head sculpt so i'm just going to plop that right there and then put it in the beam and i think we're going to be okay we're going to have a lot of like leftover parts from this episode which is usually the case you know which is why i have so much fodder All right, man, that was plenty long enough as I knock everything into the floor. That should be plenty long enough. I think we should be, it should be great. It should be great. Uh, hopefully, we can uh, get everything going here. So, let's just pop all these arms off, and hopefully, they all stay warm enough because I still haven't cut the other ones, but... Uh that's a classic. Did I heat up that head sculpt? Yes, I did. Okay, cool. I'm gonna plop this right here onto this Elite 82. Jesus, heaven, this whole figure is burning alive, but I got the head sculpt on there, so that's good. Ugh, there's that. Put that over there. Dude, tons of arms. Jesus. This is the problem with giving us double jointed arms so late in the game. Now you gotta go back and, like, fix up. I guess you don't have to, unless you're a psychopath like me. But you go back and you fix up other figures and, like, older figures and, and stuff like that. It's just, like, good lord in heaven, you know? I, I just did so much money that you have to spend like wait till you see some of these fix-ups i'm trying to do man you you won't even believe it anyways there's all that what we have to do now is we have to take every single old elite like this old it's elite 82 so it's what 2020 we're gonna take these and we have to oh five of these fins i'm fixing up five fins lord in heaven we have to take them and if you guys did not know, this is a new arm peg. This is an old one. So all you have to do is cut off the tips right here of these pegs, and you can easily attach double jointed arms. I don't know if it works on the bigger arms, but I know it works on the smaller arms like this. So that's just, you know, the sacrifice you have to make once you switch the double jointed arm. There's no going back. Trusty Knife makes a return here, and literally all I do is take it. I'm going to try my best to get this on camera, but I literally just take it right here and just kind of lightly, lightly push it. Like, honestly, if you're young, have an adult help you your father your mother your uncle is something it's very dangerous but you're just gonna shave off that tip right there another way i've done it is like get right here lined up and then just kind of like guillotine it all right guys i have cut all of the pegs right here i cut all of them off and now we can assemble our finjamin ballers and hopefully all of them don't fail me miserably now there is one that i'm worried about honestly and we'll have to see about that but i'm gonna attach all these and then after i get these attached I'll see you guys in the next segment for everything that we did today on action figure surgery. Now, there's the one fin, and then the next one. This is the one I'm worried about. Look at this peg right here, bro. Look at that peg right there. That may be effed up. All right, here's this one. Plugging that in there. Maybe could stand to cut that one a bit more. Okay, maybe maybe this, maybe the effed up side had the right idea. I don't know. All right, we got that fin. And then, wait, I think I put the wrong arm on this. Yeah, I put the wrong arm on this. This is supposed to go on here. Whoops. This is supposed to go on here. And then the Adam Cole arm is supposed to go on to this one. Yeah, I believe that's correct right there. And then coming back over here. God in heaven, why does that keep happening? Coming right here, plug this arm into here. Lord in heaven, why is that being such a freaking problem? Good lord. Also, another thing is you gotta allow it to like, you know, get cool. So like if it may be, it may be a little loosey-goosey at first, but then once it cools off and you know, the plastic like expands out a little bit more and it's not so soft it'll probably go back to the way that it was if that makes sense so like it'll it'll get tighter the joint will be a lot better so there's all that man so now that we've gotten all that man i will see you guys in the next segment to show off everything we've done today here on wwe action figure surgery all right guys here's everything we did today on wwe action figure surgery pretty successful day i might add love the way this braun Strowman came out man i love it i think the boots tie in great with the black hand tape what i plan on doing is getting the masthead sculpt on there, putting on a custom shirt, painting the straps, maybe even painting the patches on the on the pants there just to give it, you know, some extra details and stuff like that. But this brawn turned out pretty sweet. I, I like it a lot. So that, that's awesome. Look at those boots, dude. That looks insane. So that, that turned out freaking incredible. I, I love it. I, I like this is this is by far a really sweet
sweet. Like, I didn't know Braun Strowman fix-ups could be so sweet, and I love it. And now it doesn't have the ponytail little thing on the back. I mean, this, this is fire. So we got Braun right there. Next up, we have all of our fins. So this is my NXT fin that I wanted to do with the black sleeves, red trunks, black knee pads, and then red kick pads. That turned out great. I think that's a sweet fix-up right there. It would be before the tattoo, so that doesn't really mind me there, but that's a pretty cool attire right there. Look at that. The Seth Rollins kick pads ties into the black and the gold and the... Yeah, that's that's clean. That looks like something Finn would have wore back in the day, and, uh, you know, he could bring that back at any time. That looks awesome. So that fin turned out great. We also have our Top Talents Elite 82 fix-up with the dual black sleeves. In the Top Talents, again, kind of like a, you know, kind of similar to this one a little bit there with the kick pads and the black and the... On the face of the kick pads, you know, tying in together dual sleeves. Uh, that's pretty dope. That, I love this. Dude, just great figures. Great fix-ups. This is why we love to fix up figures right here, man. This is what surgery is all about. We have the Elite 82 with the smiley fin head. You do have the wrist tape arm and then the sleeved arm. Turned out great. Does have the tattoo. Awesome. Just, just dude, just look at these fix-ups. Just gives you so many different options for yourself. Whether you're, you know, you're trying to make a custom attire for a fed or, or a match or you just want to fix up your figures. Maybe you got extra copies of figures or, you know, anything. There's just, the, yeah, they, they look great. This one turned out great as well. Look at that. I, I do have Buddy Murphy, like, lower legs and kick pads on these, but the reds, the whites, the blacks all tie together. The white wrist tape looks really clean. Reminds me a lot of, obviously, it's his Royal Rumble gear from that one time, but the, the kick pads make that one real special, and then the white wrist tape just throws it all together. That is sick. And then we do have the regular Elite 82, but it does have the dual black sleeves also, which just looks menacing. It looks menacing. He looks like a uh, freaking evil, evil doer, and then, uh, you know, he is in the Judgment Day now. He's the leader of the Judgment Day, so there you go. Maybe he'll rock this now. He'll have the dual black sleeves, but all these fence fix-ups look amazing, and then Braun Strowman tops it all off there in the back. I love all of them. Which one is your favorite? If I had to pick one, I don't think I could do it, but I really love this one. I love this one, and I like the double-jointed white wrist tape right here as well, but they're all fire. They all turned out great, fantastic, and terrific. Dr. Whitekiss does it again. Just clap it up for the surgeon, but anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. Let's get into our random shout-out before we get out of here. And this shout-out is going to go to Clinton Merchant, who talked on our shop AEW 103,000 Kenny Omega. It says three. That's insane. One reason why it sold out. Well, it sold out because it's an exclusive. It's always going to do that. You know, that's the way things roll with exclusives, but I was ready for that day, man. I, I knew about this figure that we were getting it for a long time, the, the Shop AEW 103,000 Kenny Omega. I knew we were going to get it, and I prepped for this moment. I, I knew when it was going to go up for sale, or I had an idea of when it was going up for sale. You know, sometime in the week, I was constantly, every day, checking Shop AEW, and sure enough, it finally dropped. I was just prepared for that moment, man. I, I really wanted a couple, obviously, for one mint on card, one loose, and then the extra for just in case purposes. I think it's such a beautiful figure that I wanted two copies, and then you have the reason for if I want to trade, or if I want to give it away, or, or just different options, man. I always have that third there, but I'm glad to have my mental card, glad to have my loose, but I was prepped for that day, but yeah, it sold out because it's an exclusive, not just because I bought three. I know a lot of people that bought three, I know some people that got two, I know a lot of people that just got one, so that's just the way the cookie crumbles, but for this specific reason, man, I had to get three. I just had to in this moment. That figure is beautiful, but shout out to Clinton for the comment, man. That is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel I'll see you guys next time have a blessed day and uh love you, you cross the line.